Man, get off the highway. This is a state route. Everybody will be arrested if not. 30 seconds. Send your leader to my vehicle. Let's talk. Get off the road. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Benny. Oftentimes on this program, because it's a news program, because if it bleeds, it leads, right? Like you have to cover dark subjects. You have to cover subjects that might not make you feel great, like Target being a predator company towards children or Dylan Mulvaney and Bud Light. And you know, there are gonna be things that won't really come to the right conclusions. For instance, the Hunter Biden. You really think they're gonna put Hunter Biden in jail? Do you really think they're gonna put Sam Bankman fraud in jail? Do you really think they're gonna put Joe Biden in jail? I don't know, I sure as hell hope so. But it is really nice to bring you good stories, heartwarming stories at times, T stories with a happy ending. And the clip that you just watched, there from the Nevada desert. Well, baby, that is it. That's just a beauty. You know what? It's just a beauty. This is a road on the way to Burning Man, and the Nevada Rangers plowed through an Extinction Rebellion protest as the activists blocked the road into the festival, causing miles-long gridlock. Now, why do you not want miles-long gridlock for Burning Man? Of course, you know Burning Man is where all these uh, dirtbags and hippies and tech bros go to the middle of the desert to do peyote or whatever. Fentanyl, I don't care. I don't know. You know, whatever. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want. Like, you can't have massive miles long of traffic because there are emergency vehicles that need to get through, because people's lives are li quite literally in danger. Extinction Rebellion wants you to go extinct. That's why they're called Extinction Rebellion. That they, 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 You're the carbon that they want to get rid of. You do understand that, right? So, so anyway, I am loving the fact that that video shows the Extinction Rebellion people who were clearly breaking the law. You can't block, you can't lay down in the middle of traffic. You can't block roads. Again, firefighters, ambulances, emergency vehicles, the more people that are sitting on the road, the more dangerous things get. They just plowed through it to say, yo, you're getting out. And then they arrested people. Wow. Well done, Nevada. Really nicely done. Really nicely done. The governor of Nevada is a police chief named Joe Lombardo, who's like a, a, a big time like pro cop guy. And so like, good. This is probably on his orders. We'll see. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're big fans of clips like this, uh, and we're not the only ones. Matt Walsh saying, I don't mean to get all emotional, but I have to admit, I'm a sucker for these kind of heartwarming videos <laughs> of the Extinction Rebellion people getting arrested, which is something that, thank the Lord, uh, is able to happen in this country. Unfortunately, you never get to see the people in Europe where Extinction Rebellion is based, it's, they're based in Europe, uh, ever get confronted by law enforcement. So this is a guy, this was a guy who was sitting there, Extinction Rebellion, they, so they block traffic. This is what they do, they block traffic. This guy, uh, he's in Germany, he turned his car around and then sh blasted him with the, va the, 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 the exhaust from his BMW. Very nice, very effective there. Uh, Extinction Rebellion, of course, had a confab in London, and then they had protesters crash their dinner in London and put screaming sirens at the top of the rooftop of a church uh, using balloons. So that was extremely exciting, ladies and gentlemen. But this is actual law enforcement fighting back, which is just wonderful. And it is really amazing to me how the people who are victimizing those who simply want to just go to a hippie festival. Look at that. Oh, oh, just just makes you just makes you cry. Just make it just gets you emotional, really. They are these are the victimizers, okay? These people are the ones who are perpetrating the crime. All right? They're blocking the road. And the cops are the good guys, and then these people scream and act like they are the victims here. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that just the iron law of wokeness? The iron law of wokeness is you project onto others that which you are guilty of. So if it's racism, if it's using, again, like racial quotas, right? So they say they need affirmative action. They need affirmative action to end racism, but affirmative action is judging people by their race. Got it. I mean, they're such disingenuous liars, and it's wonderful to see actual use of law enforcement against these people, because if allowed to persist, then these people will shut down the entire economy, the entire American economy. They'll sit in bridges and lanes. If they like get an inroad, if this isn't the result for every single person that that is like out there blocking traffic, I'm not talking about your right to protest. You have a right to protest. I'm saying you don't have a right to ruin my life to prevent us from getting to the hospital, my wife's like nine months pregnant right right now. We, ha we have to go to the hospital often. You don't have a right to prevent my child from being born, you monsters. So go protest in a field somewhere and go smoke whatever grass you want to smoke. But you're not allowed to ruin anyone else's life. Remember, Extinction Rebellion, what it really is, is a rebellion in order to cause a human extinction. You are the carbon that they wish to eliminate from the planet. These people are monsters and it's just heartwarming to see the fact that these they they fi they finally got what they deserved here, which is to be arrested because well, they're behaving illegally. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here fighting against the communism that extinction rebellion rebellion extinction uh represents. You can't stop the sun from being hot by taxing the rest of us more. They're all just communists and they're agitating global warming in order to seize power. And the first people to be like put in, uh, the first useless people under this new system are going to be these protests. They don't understand. They never understand. They never understand. It's the artists and the hippies and the thing. Mal, like, they don't understand how revolutions work. They really don't get it. Ooh, man. But that's a topic for another video. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to End Communism. See ya.